Alright, hello everyone. I've decided to make a few videos reviewing some of the pens I use. Heaven only knows how many times a day I get asked about them. This first video will be about Pigma Micron pens by Sakura of America. I bought this pack of six pens for like 10 bucks on Amazon, which is a pretty normal price for these. Pigma Microns are probably my first love as far as nice artist pens go. I found these in an arts and crafts store, and I bought a couple, entranced by the tiny nib sizes available. The rest is history. They were my gateway drug, as it were. Pigma Microns were initially invented as a drafting tool, but they are excellent for any use that requires precision. They have archival ink, which pretty much means that if you write something on paper, it won't fade or change over time, at least not noticeably. That is the advantage of pigment-based ink, which the Pigma Microns use, and hasn't been around for nearly as long as the normal dye-based ink has. Uh, normal is known to turn brown over long periods of time and eventually disappear completely if the conditions are right or wrong. Uh, the pigment-based ink in these pens is also waterproof on paper, uh, but it's advertised to still wash out of fabric and some other materials or whatever. The ink is made to be slightly alkalinic, if not totally neutral, so it doesn't react with the paper. Um, it touches and mess things up. Go look up the pH scale on Wikipedia if you're not familiar with it. It'll make more sense. This pack came with all of their standard nib sizes, starting with uh, 08 as the biggest at 0.5 millimeters and going all the way down to 005 at 0.2 millimeters, which is really small. You can see here that I'm drawing some lines and labeling them so that you can see the differences. Like I said, these are the first professional grade pens I really got into, and I used them for a long time. In retrospect, uh, they're surprisingly affordable compared to some of the other options out there, although when I found them, I thought they were almost unbear unbearably expensive at a dollar or two each, depending on the quantities. In my opinion, as far as the smallest .20 nib size goes, Pigma Microns are the best I've seen. Copic has some that size and a little smaller, but they just don't seem to work as well. The ink doesn't flow as good in the Copics, it's just not the same. In my current setup, I use all Copic pens, except for the 0.2 millimeter, where I still use Microns. If you're a budding artist, and you've never really gotten into buying nice pens or something, Pigma Microns are a great place to start. You can buy them on Amazon or at your local arts and craft store. The beautiful thing about these pens is that even though they are a good place to start, you can really keep using them forever and not need to uh, upgrade, as it were. There are definitely other options out there, but for the most part, it just comes down to personal preference. Keep in mind that these pens are designated as disposable because they weren't meant to be refilled or have their nibs replaced. Uh, they will wear out over time. The smaller the nib, the faster that they'll wear, wear out, in my experience. You have to be quite careful with the tiny uh, fine tips. If you press too hard, you can easily ruin it. Once you draw with these a bunch, the lines they draw will slowly start to become almost identical as the tips degrade. But that's life. In another video, I'll talk about some of the refillable pigment ink pens that are out there. Um, you can also get pigment microns in a bunch of different colors um, if you're into that sort of thing. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave any questions, and I'll try to answer them in the comments. If you want to see these pens in action, feel free to watch some of these videos of mine where I use them. All right. Thanks.